Welcome back to episode two, brought to you by Stafford Communications, a division of Premier. In part one, we explored the critical role of people and engagement in building a thriving healthcare contact center. This is Russ Onofrio. Today, uh, we delve into Russ's second strategy pillar, tools and technology. <laughs> Russell Onofrio is back with us today to talk about technology in the contact center. Um, so Russ, in your experience, how significant is the role of AI and technology in a healthcare contact center? Yeah, yeah CJ, it's a pleasure to have, thank you for having me back again. It's absolutely um, a game changer and critical. Um, technology and AI are revolutionizing the way we interact with patients. They enable us to provide um, personalized care at scale, uh, improved response times, um, and ensure accuracy in information um, that we deliver. So beyond the basic call routing, can you give us specific examples of how AI is utilized in the healthcare contact center um, to enhance that patient experience? Yeah, I think, I think it's, it's, again, as I said, it's really groundbreaking. And I always start with the back end. You know, AI is, a, can be, is enabled to, to gather large pieces of data information. And what it can do is take your, your best agents and best people and do some modeling in there so that it helps your lesser people and provide them with the tools to get better without the intense one-on-one -on -one training that goes. You know, a real improvement in experience, but also savings on the back end. Um, the second is, is being able to actually prompt agents when they're on the phone with the patient. Because of what AI can do, is, is when, especially when it's linked into your um, EHR, electronic hospital records or electronic medical records, whatever you have uh, in there, it is able to gather that data or access that data and actually feed information to the actual agent, prompting them to ask the right questions based on the interaction they have so that they don't have to remember everything. Sometimes the old hard drive is filled. Um, the third thing is around, you know, obviously predictive analytics. Um, again, being able to mass large data, and there's a lot of data in your EHR, there's a lot of data, maybe if you have a CRM, there's a lot of data in your phone and your recordings, and really aggregating up what patients are calling about, why they're calling, so that you can have a better understanding of how you can support your people through education and knowledge, or by being able to maybe be a little bit more proactive uh, with patients to improve uh, outcomes. And we're going to talk about that later because um, the use of data analytics to improve your processes. So mm -hmm. that'll be in another episode. So um, that's great. So, you know, with all these exciting possibilities in AI, uh, you know, technology also has challenges. So what are some of the specific hurdles that a contact center would face when using AI? Well, I think, I think the first and foremost, it's about having clean data. Um, you, you know, ensuring that the, ACE, the AI system is well-trained. You gotta remember, this is a machine learning system. So it's like the old saying, if your data is not good, garbage in, garbage out, um, and you won't get the outcomes. And, and, and in healthcare, you cannot miss the details. And that's critical. Um, I always propose what you have when you, when you look at any technology is a crawl, walk, run mindset. Mm -hmm. The crawl is gathering of data, understanding what you're getting, because a lot of, a lot of companies in healthcare specifically, the data is all in different areas and you're not sure. So learn first, then take the learnings and the data analysis that you're actually capturing so that you can make better options for self-service or to help patients along or, or agents in their knowledge and education. The second thing, and this is, this is kind of troubling, is um, AI is not the silver bullet. A lot of executives are there, and it's not the silver bullet just to reduce expense. Um, if you think about the old IVR when it first uh, was introduced, it was about having them reduce costs. And you're still seeing those IVA, now interactive voice intelligence companies, or AI companies, talk in the way of deflection and containment. That shouldn't be in their mind, that vocabulary at all. It's about providing patients with help that they need, when they need it, the way they want. And that's really where I see the, the two biggest challenges. The third challenge will come in is around security, is making sure that you have right security and compliances there. 
Um, I think those are the three that I would see. How does HIPAA fit into this? Oh, HIPAA plays a, a, a tremendous role. It can improve uh, HIPAA verification through voice biometrics, um, you know, two-way verification. In, in the past, if someone actually contacts your system, you're going and talking to them, all right? And that's fine, but you're relying on human to human. And so now you can be able to now add additional layers of security to help verify and protect patients' information. Mm -hmm. That is really a good point. Um, so the potential of AI seems limitless. So what's your vision of the future of AI in this field and how's, how would it revolutionize patient interactions? You know, as people become more adopting and utilizing technology, I think AI will grow tremendously. Um, I think it's, uh, it'll become more sophisticated, it'll be more offering more services. I kind of view this as the example of the old gas stations. I don't know if you remember a long time ago, I do. Um, you drive in, the person would come out and they would pump your gas, they would clean your windshield, check your oil. And then they went into self-service um, and full service and you do it yourself. Um, but they still had you know, the payment issue. Now there's no service. And that's the evolution of technology. And that's where I see AI to go, that crawl, walk, run in there. I see it revolutionizing, being able to be more proactive, and actually believe that responding to patients' needs in a proactive way, because of the way it's been able to, you can train it with the data, but also the way it can, it can mask and improve outcomes for patients. Mm -hmm. So there are some valid concerns in the use of AI um, to replace the human interaction in healthcare. Is it going to replace the human interaction? What's your view on this? Yeah, you know, <laughs> I would say AI is a tool. Um, and as a tool, you need to utilize it where it, where it makes sense. And I go back to the thing I, uh, I say is you have to meet patients where they want to be met in their chosen method of communication. As people become more adopting, they're going to choose more technology. Um, if they're not, then you don't give it to them. You know, so you, you, you do that on the front end. The back end, it's going to continue to grow. Um, I view it more like, um, I think it was Gardner in 1996 that said, and this was the advent of the, the, the internet, I should say, and they said the call center is dead. Well, it's not. It's not. We're still here. You know, 30 years later, I'm still working in call centers, and, you know, you are too. Mm -hmm. It's evolved into something different. And I think that's where AI is going to take you. The savings will come over time. Um, that's really insightful. Um, I know, you, you know, at Premier and Stafford Communications, we think that um, that super high touch, integrating that high touch with technology, is really the wave of the future, and mm -hmm. both things, and so much so that we actually developed a tech tech lab just to investigate um, ways to customize solutions so that you can. You can integrate that human touch with mm. it, with technology, and I think it's important to that you noted that um, you know it's it's serving the customer the way they want, mm -hmm. and and making that person available, um, you know, as well as using technology not only to, for the customer but also for the agents. Yeah. Um, so in the next episode, we are going to uh, dive into quality assurance, mm. one of my favorite subjects. Um, how do we ensure exceptional care at every single touch point in the patient journey? Uh, join us as we explore best practices to elevate your quality standards. And if you're ready to leverage AI to revolutionize your contact center, please feel free to call us and, and um, we'll help you uh, work that out and, and look for areas of improvement and how to develop a customized solution to integrate technology with the human touch. Thanks, Russ, for joining us, and we'll see you on the next episode. Thank you, CJ.